On a summer day at Ryrie Reservoir, the Luger family is caught up in a unique Idaho sport. Well, you put bacon or cat food, anything really stinky in the net and lower it down and wait about 15 minutes and then pull them up. There's a little bit of mystique, I think, about you know bringing things up from the deep. Tell me when you see it, Alex. So I think they like that. Yeah, oh, that's a keeper. There's not a lot involved. The traps aren't very expensive. Just even with a fishing line and a, a hook and a sinker, you can catch them. It's simple fun, but it's also serious business, since the Lugers hope to catch dinner. I think today's going to be a good day. If you've never had them, it's hard to believe that something as ugly and grotesque as that thing uh, is just uh, has a wonderful taste to it. I've nicknamed Idaho lobsters. Regardless of how many they catch, <gasps> that's a big one. The Lugers see fishing for crawdads as time well spent. More and more we're urban people. You know, I think there's a lot of kids that, that they read about it in a book, but there's nothing like experiencing it. That is like the size of my hand. Number one is a survival skill. If anything ever happened, they could always catch crawdads. <laughs> know how to cook them and eat them. It's great quality time. For the kids, enjoying this sport boils down well, to I'm two simple eat things. Eating them and pulling up the nets. For Be Outside, I'm Michael Keckler.